Hey, thanks for joining me again. Been a while once again. I'm really sorry about that. Just been busy again, working full time and just regular life going on. But I'm trying to get back into some things here. And what I've had going on is this commission build I'm doing of the Bandai Perfect Grade Millennium Falcon. I will not be doing a full build series, but more of just highlights of the modifications, lighting, and such that I'm doing to this kit. So to start with, just looking at the kit here, it's um, there's a lot of pieces in this kit. It's um, it's quite an extensive build, um, bigger than I expected. A lot more parts and fine little pieces than I expected. Just bag after bag after bag of parts here, and you can see it just keeps going. And I've also got some third-party 3D printed parts that my client sent along that he would like me to install. Um, such as the ramp corridor. Um, there's a figure of R2-D2, figure of C-3PO. Um, there's some other little pieces here. And then as well, he also sent some third-party photo etching that he would like me to use in the kit uh, for the emergency lighting along the bottom and as well for the cockpit and things like that. So I've gone and I've put together these first portions here which are these little areas inside the mandibles of the Falcon and of course they fit right inside here and the detail in this entire model is just amazing and beautiful. You can see here the detailing all the fine little tubing and parts and different things going on inside these recesses of the mandibles alone. The detail is just amazing. Bandai has once again just outdone themselves and done an amazing job with the uh, kit here. And I've gone and I've put the mandibles together. Um, they look great. You can see again that detail inside there, inside the recesses. And I've also gone and I've primed this with some gray primer. I've also drilled out a little hole in the front here of each mandible. Uh, the client, although it's episode four, he wants to have the headlights from episode five. So I've drilled out a hole and I'm using some 0402 SMD cool white LEDs here to make the headlights for the uh, mandibles. And I'm just gonna run my wires through these uh, little areas here inside the mandibles and do a quick little test and there you have the lights popping on. Um, I've run both LEDs through on each mandible. Uh, hot glued the wires into place, have them coming out the back here so that I can wire them up inside the body of the Falcon on both sides and just slap the tops on here and both headlights are lighting up and working just fine. Of course the bleed will be taken care of once it's painted. Uh, we have other recesses here, again, amazing fine detail that go on the upper and lower portions. These are specifically for the lower portion of the Falcon. But again, all the tubing and piping and just the fine detail is amazing. And we have the photo etching here. These are the red caution lights that go around various areas of the bottom of the Falcon. And you can see the scale and how teeny these are and they attach around bottom areas of the Falcon here like so. And Again, you can just see how small these are. They'll look pretty nice once painted. And I've marked with the pencil where I'm going to drill some holes for some fiber optics to come through to light those up. And I'm using my Millennium Falcon workshop manual. Um, the diagram in here to show where all the lighting goes on the bottom so I can get it accurate as to where it is on the Falcon. So I've also marked the landing lights here around the perimeter with a pencil on here as well. And I'm going to use a 764 drill bit for the smaller landing lights and then I have a 730 seconds drill bit which I'll use for the larger landing lights on each side of the escape pods. And I've got some one millimeter fiber optic which fits perfect through the center of these little caution lights. So I've drilled the holes out. 
I'm going to put my one millimeter fiber in here just to do a quick test and I have that sticking out the bottom here as you can see and light shining through it lights up just fine then I made the tip red just for this test and take the caution housing and just place it over the LED and put some light through it and there you go red caution light so moving on I've put a lot of the bottom parts of the Falcon together here um, you can see a majority of the bottom is all assembled again not doing a full build series here just showing some highlights so what I'm doing now is I'm going to tape off for a lot of the uh, detailed painting the markings these are all the red portions on the underside of the Falcon that I have taped off and marked and the top side as well I have those taped off and marked for the red and then I've gone through with some liquid masking um, just applied some in the areas for the chipping effects to make the paint chipped away and I've done it as accurate as possible to the actual miniature used in the filming of episode 4 of the Millennium Falcon and again all the chipping across the top red portions um, I did a layer of medium gray paint airbrushed and then I went over it with some red that I created and you can see I've painted that all up here and it gives it a kind of a deeper red color there and just gonna peel my tape off around all of these and you can see some of the chipping is coming off right now with my liquid mask and I'll just rub it off with my fingers revealing all the chipping underneath where the liquid mask was covering up from the paint and we've got the whole bottom side of the Falcon here revealed with all the chipping and the top side with all the red markings and the chipping then I've gone through and taped up for the darker gray markings all over the body and that's the bottom side and there it is painted with chipping effects again using the liquid mask and the top side as well then I've gone through and also done the kind of brownish grayish tone with chipping effects across the top and some across the bottom portion of the Falcon and I've done some as well around the cockpit so I've just done a gloss clear coat over the entire bottom portion of the Falcon so that I can start doing some weathering uh, starting off I'm going to use some German Grey from Viejo and I'm going to create a wash by just taking some German Grey mixing it with some water diluting it and then I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to start smearing it around the recesses on the lower side of the Falcon and letting it fill in the recesses then I'll let that dry for just a bit and once dried a little bit I'll just go with a rag and I'll just start wiping off all the excess leaving just the darker portions inside the recesses some of the streaking of the paint I'll actually leave on the panels as well because there is streaking on the Falcon from weathering from just water and other things running down the underside of the belly and here you can see some of that streaking just from the washing alone which looks really nice and I wiped it towards the center which is the direction it would be flowing so I've done the entire bottom with a wash you can see all those recesses filled in it's, it's totally starting to pop and come to life you can see all the panels standing out on the bottom side of the Falcon here and I've also done a wash all over the bottom rear engine areas and all around the stabilizers and everything make it look like it's heavily used oiled and dirty and now I've gone through and I've applied all of the decals to the bottom of the Falcon there are literally for this model hundreds of decals tons of little decals all over the place that I've gone through and applied little bits of text little different types of markings and cautions and all kinds of detail all around the bottom portion and also I've done the sides of the Falcon as well and you can see a majority of those here before I can move on to lighting I'm going to do some more weathering on the underside I'm going to use some of these weathering pencils here and I'm just gonna get the tip of the pencil wet 
apply a bit here on the model and then I'm going to take a damp brush and just start brushing it and wiping it down and wiping away to make streaks along the bottom of the falcon. Uh, I'm going to use different shades of I'm using a streaking dirt I'm using smoke and I'm just going to go around with these pencils and just do various streaks from all the rust and grime and things running down the underside of the falcon and you can see here I've gone across the whole bottom and I've done a lot of that weathering now and done it across the entire bottom of the ship. So with that much done I'm about ready to move on to putting in the lighting and start with the electronics. I'm gonna do all these lighting here. I'm gonna do the caution lights you know here and then also lighting up the gunner well so that'll be stuff I'm gonna start covering in my next episode so for now I'm gonna call this episode finished and I'll get into the meat of the lighting and the add-ons in the next episode so sorry it's been so long since an episode has arrived but uh, I'd like to thank you again for watching and until next time Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.